Hey guys, so today I'm going to print out a maker coin. I've been working on one for a while. I'm still not 100% sure about the design of it. Um, I'll go ahead and print it out so you can see it. If you've already, if you follow me on uh, Twitter, I'm sure you've already probably seen it and maybe even downloaded it or, or looked it over on uh, Thingiverse. I'll put a link to it in the video description. Anyway, we do have Maker Fair coming up. Uh, the Bay Area Make, Maker Fair will be coming up, uh, I believe, in May of this uh, next year. And uh, I'm planning on going to it, so I need to come up with a little something I can carry with me when I do go to it. So I figured I'd go ahead and give this a shot, see how it looks. And I'll, uh, this one's going to be a, I'm printing it double the size so I can just kind of check it out. And then if it work, looks good, I'll go ahead and I'll print the other, uh, I'm going to do them like in sets of 12 at a time on the bill plate. So we'll see how it looks. I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, let's move the build plate down a little bit and I was able to get the spatula under it. It looks like it turned out alright. Got a little bit of stringing. I, this time I turned the temperature down to 180. And it's still just a hair of stringing, but I don't want to keep turning it down too low. So this one is double the size of what I would normally, what I'm going to be printing. I still don't know about that little logo thing. <laughs> I took a T and an S and tried to angle it in a way so that it looks like a J in behind it. So if you notice the T's at the top there, got an S and a J, so J, S, T for Jimmy Shaw's tidbits. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and go, for, go with it for now. But anyway, that looks all right, so I'm going to go ahead and try printing it in a smaller version, just see how the print turns out. Um, I have 12 built uh, set up for the build plate right now. If it works out, I'll try doing 16 on the build plate. I don't know if it's going to be able to hold it or not, but I'll give it a shot. So I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Hey guys, so it's been 17 hours and 7 minutes. <laughs> I did not expect these to take that long. I did go back in and I changed my model around a little bit so to print about half the time. But uh, maybe I'm going to pull these from the build plate and see how they turned out. Now to be completely honest with you, this is my second go around. I did have them sized a lot smaller, but uh, the print wasn't turning out on them so I had to end up canceling that print. So I went uh, at 150% the size and printed these out. So I just want to see what these look like and then I'm just going to go ahead and start printing the next ones here in just a moment. But let's get these off the bill plate. As you can see there's a little bit of stringing. I actually went all the way down to 178 degrees Celsius on this one to try to correct the stringing. Uh, I don't think the retraction is going to make the difference. I think it's going to be all in, in temperature. You can actually read the name on these. The last one that up here was the Jimmy Shaw's. You couldn't read it. But uh, I'll clean them up a little bit better. I'll show you here at the end of the video how they turned out once I get them cleaned up. Here, I'll, I'll clean the bed off and uh, go ahead and get the next set going and we'll see how those turn out. Okay, they just finished. So let's take a look here. 
let's take one of them off for now. Let's just see what it looks like. I'm going to redesign them a little bit before I actually go to Maker Faire. I don't like the way the print's turning out on it. You can see the S a little bit there at the end, but a lot of them didn't want to turn out so hot. So here's the progression of everything. It started out with a really big one. It turned out really nice. I like the way that one turned out. But when I tried to, die, to try to go with the original size that I actually made for it, that's what I got. As you can see, you can barely see the print right along there. So then I took and I sized it back up to 150%. It turned out alright. But in the end, what I did is I ended up going back into uh, Tinkercad, increased the original size from this to this, and then moved the print down a little bit, thinking it might help you know, getting it away from from the little emblem part to see if that would help it. It helped it a little bit, but still still not quite what I want, but for everything right now this is going to work out just for now. At least it's a start. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a song I'm going to have to keep working on for the foreseeable future, I think, but anyway, I also took and sized it down on thickness. And I also printed this one at uh, 0.15 layer height instead of the 0.1 that I was done on the rest of them. It still printed out really nice. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. And if you'd like to help out the channel, please check out my Patreon page. You can find the link to that right over here. And if you'd like to take and watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I hope you love them. Yeah, I think you'll like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.